Hi guys! Thank you for supporting Keep Inspired Curated Art Kits. Today, we are going to show you a video tutorial done by Julius for his artwork called Pond. Before we begin, please make sure that you have all your materials ready, which comes complete in the kit that you have purchased. Your paints, your brushes, your palette, and of course the canvas slash greeting card. Aside from these, please prepare a container of water for dipping your brushes, a scratch paper where you can swatch the paint, and some napkins for cleaning and drying. So let's begin. For this painting, we will begin with the upper portion of the water background. As you can see, Julius is mixing in a blue-green shade and he adds some water to it until he gets the correct consistency to make the paint flow nicely on the paper. And here you will see him using downward strokes which help create that water effect. So as we move downward towards the bottom of the artwork, the water background becomes blue. So at this point, we'll be adding in more blue into the mixture that we've created. So again, the strokes that we'll be doing are downward strokes. So at this point, you'll notice that Julius will be mixing in a light blue shade. So he gets a bit of the blue, a bit of the white, and some water to mix in a light blue, sky color looking shade. Okay, so just trace around the lily pad and the lotus flower and just keep on using downward strokes. Now you'll notice that Julius gets some of the blue-green paint that he mixed previously and then he uses it to blend in the, the layers of color on the water. So still the strokes are downward. Okay, so at this point, let's wait for our painting to dry. So right now, we will be working on the lilies. Before we paint on the yellow-green lilies, we have to layer it with white paint first. So as you can see, Julius is using white paint to bring back the shape or trace back the shape of the lilies. Alright, once the white paint is dry on the lily pads, we can work on the actual colors which will be a yellow-green shade. Okay, so to create that yellow-green shade, just get a bit of green and some yellow, adjust it accordingly and add some water. Okay, so right now you can just go ahead and trace inside the lily pads using the yellow-green color. Okay, so once we've completed the set of lilies on the upper part of the artwork, uh, let's wait out a bit and let it dry. Now it's time to work on the lower part of the painting which involves more lilies. So let's mix more of that yellow-green paint, but this time let's make it a bit more green. Okay, it's, um, it's going to be on the greener side. So once you've mixed that paint, let's go ahead and paint on the sketches of the lilies. So let's just trace around the lily pad sketches or inside the lily pad sketches and then wait for it to dry. Okay. 
Okay, so right now we will be working on the shadows of the lily pads. So to achieve that, we must uh, mix in a dark green shade. So we'll get some of the green and some of the brown until we come up with a dark brown uh, and green mixture. So as you can see, Julius is creating an outline around or below the lilies to create that shadow. So continue doing that um, until all the lilies have been outlined. So let's continue by adding in more details uh, for the lilies. So you'll see Julius here painting a triangular shape on each of the lilies using the dark uh, green-brown shade that he previously mixed for the outlines. So let's add a shadow that will separate these uh, three lilies and of course a shadow below the lotus flower to, to define it more. So now we will be working on the ripples uh, on the water. So you can see Julius will be mixing in sort of a violet uh, color. So by mixing in some blue and a tiny bit of red. So as you can see, he's just uh, following along the shapes of the lilies by using thin and light strokes. So for the upper part of the painting, we can also create ripples by uh, using the same purple shade and doing light uh, strokes. And now for the ripples on the lower part of the painting, we will be using a bluer shade. And following the same uh, instructions that we did for the upper part, we will just create the ripples by uh, following the shapes of the lilies. So we'll be using light and thin strokes. Okay, so now it's time to go back and paint our lilies again. So we will be mixing in a lighter yellow-green shade. As you can see, Julius will be adding a white, um, some of the white paint onto the yellow-green mixture so that he can paint over the lilies. So when you paint over the lilies, make sure that you cover the entire, um, the entire drawing. And now it's time to work on more details for the lilies that are located on the upper part of the artwork. We will be mixing in a lighter uh, yellow-green shade. And we will be doing inward strokes as you can see uh, in Julius's demo here. So you'll notice that he usually starts off with the edge of the lilies and then he works his way inward towards the center to create those strokes. Now it's time to work on the highlights of the lilies. Uh, we will do this by mixing in a lighter, an even lighter yellow-green shade. And as you can see, Julius also starts with the edges of the lilies and then he works his way uh, inward using um, light strokes. So now it's time to work on the lilies on the lower part of the painting. 
like what we did a while ago, we added another coat or another layer to the lily. So this time we'll mix in a light, uh, light green shade and we'll go ahead and just trace around or in, inside the lilies. So right now we can also do that inward pattern that we've uh, been doing for the lilies that we've painted a while ago. And now to add in more details to these lilies, again, let's make a lighter, a lighter, lighter shade of yellow green by adding in some white and more yellow to the uh, current mixture that we have. He's just applying linear strokes that are aimed towards the center of the lilies. And at this point, let's work again on the ripples. So let's mix in a light blue shade. Some of that blue, some of that white, and of course some water. And we will retrace those ripples that we've created in the upper portion of the painting. As you can see, Julius is just using thin, uh, light strokes. And you can also randomly use some dots and combine them with really, really thin strokes. And now let's create even more highlights on those ripples by using pure white paint. For the ripples on the lower part of the painting, Julius is just using pure white paint to highlight. And as you can see, he's also using the pure white paint to add some highlights on the lilies. And now that we're done with the lilies and the ripples, it's now time to work on the lotus flower. So the shades that we will be working with for the lotus flower would be like dark pink and light pink. So let's start off by mixing in a dark pink color. So let's start off by painting in the petals at the back portion of the lotus and you'll notice that we are painting it petal by petal. Now that we're done with the back part of the lotus flower, let's now work our way towards the center. So you will be mixing in some white onto the current mixture to create a lighter pink. So once you create that, we can go ahead and paint in uh, the next layer of petals. And now that we're approaching the middle part, let's create an even more lighter pink by adding more white to the paint mixture that we just created. So go ahead and paint in that uh, center portion of the lotus flower. So after that really, really light pink layer of uh, petals we move back to, to the light pink one so let's go ahead and paint that layer and for the final layer of the lotus flower let's use the dark uh, the dark pink paint that we created a while ago so now let's create a red violet shade um, and this will be used to outline the bottom or the lower part of the lotus flower. And now for the finishing touches for the lotus flower, let's use some pure white paint. As you can see, Julius is just using uh, linear strokes that are uh, moving towards the center of the lotus flower. And now let's mix some orange or yellow orange color that will be used uh, for the center part of the lotus flower. And now to add some finishing touches on the painting, let's use some yellow to add highlights on the lilies. So now let's add some dark brown to our light green 
paint mixture to create a shadow just right below the lotus flower. Alright, so we are done with uh, this artwork. Again, this is Pond by Julius Segaspi for Keep Inspired Curated Art Kits. Uh, once your painting is all dried up, don't forget to sign it uh, in front and at the back, of course. And we encourage you to please write on it and give it away as a card. And of course, don't forget to upload your work. We'd love to see what you did with your kits. Uh, don't forget to tag us. Our social media pages are at keepinspired.artkits. We hope you enjoyed our session. And that's it. We hope we have kept you inspired. Thank you.